Hello, and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're here on the new map that came with the Alpine DLC, uh, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different uh, on this map today. And so I really wanted to check out some of the DLC content, and so I kind of poked around with it a little bit and came to the conclusion that the new electric tractor is just amazing. Uh, and so I wanted to do something where I could give this tractor a try and play around with it a little bit, but it really just doesn't fit in with my normal maps or play style or really anything. And so I thought rather than trying to squeeze it into one of my normal series and having it just stand out, that we would do a, uh, I'll call it a mini series, dedicated solely to this tractor. And so how are we going to do that, you might ask? Well, this is a new farmer mode game because I wanted all of the structures and everything that is on the map by default. But what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to our garage and we're going to sell our other tractors that come with this farm because we don't need them. Because what we're going to do is use exclusively this electric tractor for this series in its 68 horsepower glory. And so we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of some of our equipment here that we're not gonna be able to use, like this baler, because we won't have a front loader. We're gonna use no equipment other than um, this little tractor. So we're not gonna have the ability to use a front loader. We're not gonna have the ability to pick up bales and such like that and so we're just going to get rid of all this stuff that we're not going to use i think that's about going to do it and so now we've got this little tractor we've got a handful of attachments um we've got a trailer and yeah we've got a little bit of stuff over here we'll have to figure out what to do with these bales we'll probably just push them into the trigger with the tractor or something um and we've got some of the starting equipment now this map is primarily um, a grass map. There's, a, I mean, there's a fair chunk of arable land here. Um, doing arable land with a 68 horsepower tractor, going to be interesting. But I keep talking, if you're a viewer that's been around uh, on the channel for a while, you'll know that there's two achievements that I still haven't got. Well, actually there's three achievements that I haven't gotten yet. Um, there's the contractor achievements, which I'm not sure we're going to get on this map where you can do contracts for people. And then there's a, uh, two animal achievements that I haven't gotten one for sheep and one for chickens. And so I figured a map with a lot of grass, not a bad map to do some, uh, sheep achievements with. And then for chickens, we only need one crop to do that. We need like a weed or a barley or something. And so I figured we would buy this little chunk of land right over here next to our farm with all that money that we just um, made selling our equipment off. And then we're going to put a sheep and a, a chicken pen right over here. And then we'll have this field behind it that we can divide up, grow a little bit of wheat and maybe plant grass and the rest of it. And we're gonna run animals here and see if we can do everything with our handy dandy little electric tractor. We may at some point decide to get a second electric tractor um, so that we can do a couple of things at the same time and use some workers. Uh, but we are going to try and use exclusively this as our only vehicle on the entire farm. So with that, we're gonna do a little bit of setup here today. We're gonna to get a couple of pieces of equipment and uh, get the farm set up, get the landscaping done with the additional um, animal pens here. And then we'll get started uh, in on the rest of this officially in the next video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set a shop point here um, so that I can buy my equipment without having to run all the way back and forth to bring everything up here to the farm. I don't always show um, all of this stuff off in my videos, but uh, this is usually how I set up my maps for the first time. 
So given that I'm using just a tractor, uh, I do need to be able to harvest that wheat or barley I was talking about. And so I came across this from uh, one of the members of my Discord server sent me a link to this awesome pull behind harvester. And uh, I tested this off camera and this is gonna work amazingly with our little uh, electric tractor here. Uh, from a mods perspective, there's only a couple of pieces of equipment that I've added to the um, game, which this is one of them. Most everything else is just base game that I plan on using, or, well, the game and the expansions. Um, I'm loving this little harvester, though. Sorry, I'm so distracted by it. It's amazing looking. Um, and so, really, I've just got my standard kind of utility mods that I use in all my series installed. You know, easy dev tools and um, the, what is it called, time sync that makes the, the time go by faster, some of those kind of things. I don't really have uh, seasons or anything like that installed because, like I said, this is going to be just a quick mini series to try and get some achievements on animals and, uh, you know, do something a little bit goofy with this tractor. But that said, I am going to try to stick to my... Um, I'll say semi-realistic gameplay style and not uh, um, we're not going to be cheating a lot of money in or doing any, anything like that outside of I will uh, take out a loan to get whatever money I need to put down the animal buildings and get those started uh, but we are going to play uh, realistically I'm hesitating because um, I, I'm not sure that I would realistically try to farm with a uh, 68 horsepower electric tractor and do all the things we're going to do. Uh, but we're going to play realistic-ish. So with the harvester purchased, the other thing that I know we're going to need if we're going to do a little bit of arable crops is uh, some kind of a fertilizer spreader. I've got one installed here somewhere. If it's not under crop protection, it's probably under fertilizer because it's a fertilizer spreader. Um, so this little thing is great because it'll spread both uh, fertilizer and lime is my understanding. And it doesn't require a whole lot of horsepower. So we're going to get that. And we're going to bring that over here with the, uh, the tractor. We're going to have to give this thing a name. So uh, I'm going to open this up to... Uh, some votes in the comments uh, or in my discord server if you uh, join there and you have an idea for a name for uh, our little tractor here drop a comment below and let me know what you think we should name it um, until then we're gonna be just uh, just thinking of names here we'll call it tiny to start with um, I'm going to go ahead and drop this right back in here. It's going to take a minute or two whoops, to uh, remember how all the keys work here. I don't have manual and attachments installed because I didn't want to be hopping in and out. Um, but I find that uh, anytime I don't use manual attach, I attempt to use it anyway. So we're going to just turn this around and get it out of our way so we can put some more equipment in there later if we need. Um, I can't quite get this tractor in here with the beacon, can I? Nope, that's not going to cut it. Well, I guess I can, but we're not going to do that. So we'll park this in front of it just so that I don't forget. All right, with that said, I've got a mower. I've got some stuff to do arable. I've got an oversized trailer that's way too big for what we're trying to do. We've got a bunch of hungry cows, I'm sure. And we've got our hay equipment here. So I think at this point, the last thing to do is some landscaping. So we're going to come over here. And I already bought the field. And so we just need to look and see what it's going to cost to get our animal pens. So I need sheep achievements. Whoops, I didn't mean to try and buy it. Um, and chicken. And so I need 65000 for a small-ish sheep enclosure. Uh, or should I just put the big ones down? So that's 180 And then chickens is 40 
So I need $220,000. So we're going to come in here and we're going to see how much it lets us borrow. It's been a while. I haven't played base game. All right, we're going to start there because we've got some landscaping to do too. And if I look at animal pens and I want to put down the large sheep pasture here, I think what I'm going to do is put that down right over here. I'm um, trying to decide what angle I want. The front, I think all the stuff's going to spawn over there. So there's a little fence that we're not going to be able to get through on that side. So I think I'm going to be coming in and out along this road here. Um, so I'll probably put a driveway here and it looks like there's a good spot for a driveway here. And so if I, do I want to square this up with this road? Probably something like that, but put it right over here. Um, like this, I like that. And then if I come back in here and we grab the chicken coop, this is a pretty good size. I'm dragging it over the ground here so I can see where the um, triggers are for the chicken coop. I may try and do something like this. It looks like it's fairly squared up with that road as well. And if we just drop this like... I don't think I need to use any of this grass for anything. I've got more than enough land for what we're trying to do. I think I'm just going to toss it right in here so that I can uh, have kind of a shared road between them. Something like that looks good. And it's been forever since I've done any serious landscaping. Uh, so we need to... What is it? X. There we go. And this is the muddy dirt texture. Is there a better texture that I want to use? Uh, let's just go over here and draw a little bit. Um, that doesn't look terrible. That's got grass on it. There's some gravel. Not that gravel. Not that concrete. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Oh, uh, there's so many textures. Um, all right, here, let's get rid of all the messy stuff. Let's maybe use this one. This is what we've already got down here. And so I'm going to just bring this around the outside of this pen. I have a road, maybe. Like come driveway type deal that comes up here. Something like this. We'll fix up all of these parts uh, a little bit later. Um, should it come around here maybe? We'll have a little path. Now this tractor isn't very wide, so I don't need huge paths like I would uh, for some larger equipment. But I don't want to have to be backing up all the time, so I like to be able to kind of uh, go around my structures to some degree. There's this. Looking good. We're going to just bring this right over into this direction. We're going to bring this around here and I said I wanted a driveway right over here I think um, somewhere right in here probably looks good and then if I just bring this over this way a little bit we're gonna have to go get our tractor for sizing here in a second I think because we want to make sure it's at least reasonably sized. All right, let's put some grass back in here, make this look a little bit better. In fact, we'll run the grass all the way along here. 
I'm just worried this isn't the same grass texture and it's going to look really funny. But we'll find out. All right. This looks good and then I need a uh, driveway over here. Maybe we'll put some gravel down afterwards. Um, is that the right one? That's the right one. All right, so here we also want a driveway. I don't want to take out the bush, though. So we're going to do something about like this. Just give us a little bit of uh, room to turn. I'm so going to run right into that pole. Oh, uh, this is going to kind of curve over this way. Since I imagine we'll be coming in and going one way or the other. So let's just round out both corners a smidge. And then something like that. Uh, if we're driving along, we're going to come in here. We may want to go over to this side a little bit more. So we're going to do this and then add some grass back in, I think. I went past it again. Like this. Um, bum, 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 bum. Mm. I have like a little bit of grass here in the middle. Something like that. I like it. Let's go grab our tractor and see uh, how well this actually looks once we're down here and doing our thing. Now this uh, electric tractor is not very loud, so we may have to adjust our volume a little bit uh, once we get into the actual playing to see how this goes. But I think, at least, the dirt paths look appropriately sized for our little tractor here. I have no major complaints at this point, and so we'll clean things up a little bit down here maybe at some point and uh yeah this is looking good so with that we've got a little well we have a lot of money because we uh took out a loan we need to uh seed our animals into each of these and so let's go ahead and just put an appropriate amount of starting animals in each of uh these pens I think for the chickens, um, we're going to just go with, I don't know how chickens work at all. Never done them. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's start with five chickens. So four and a rooster. Confirm. And we'll start with um, maybe 10 sheep. I don't know. Let's think. What color sheep should we get? We'll get black and white sheep. Ten sheep. Done. All right. Now, if we look at our animal menu, we've got ten sheep, ten cows. Oh, uh, maybe we should have gone for ten chickens. We're going to do it. We're going to get ten chickens. There. Ten, ten, ten. Good. All right. So that is the setup for our electric tractor challenge. The little tractor that could. We're going to run this animal farm with our cows, our sheep, and our chickens and attempt to get the sheep and chicken achievements that I have not yet gotten. And uh, yeah, that'll give us a chance to check out the electric tractor. And for the first time in my playing of farm sim i'll have an excuse to use three meter wide equipment so i'm kind of looking forward to actually trying out some of this uh ridiculously small equipment that exists in the game um this one might be a little bit of a challenge hopefully we won't need to do too much plowing um but we do have um all the things necessary i think to get a start here um we'll be able to find something here that we can pull with our little tractor even if we're 
pushing it to the limit. Uh, if not, I'm sure I can find something on the Endgame Mod Hub um, that will be able to be up for the task. So with that, we're going to wrap this episode and get into the playing next time. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.